Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Chromanium Guardian Raid. In this video I'll be going over Chromanium's attack patterns and give some tips at the end so that you can dominate this beast. To start off, Chromanium has three phases, one before his shell is cracked, one after the shell is cracked, and then phase three when he's around 20 to 30 percent health. For each phase, Chromanium will gain new mechanics, so make sure you pay attention. In order to break his shell, you're going to need to use either corrosive bombs, destruction bombs, or any move with weak point on it. Thankfully, I'm over leveled, so one destruction bomb was enough for me, but it might take more for you. Starting off, as with all Guardian Raids, Chromanium has a counterable slam. He will go up into the air, linger, and then slam down on the ground. When he glows blue and raises up, it's time to counter and sit him down. It's a fairly long animation, so you shouldn't have any trouble. Chromanium also has a side slam that you'll just need to dodge out of. He also has a breath attack, which in its normal form isn't too big of a deal. He will breathe in and then breathe out in a narrow stream. In later phases, this turns into a 180 degree breath that you'll need to make sure your team is aware of. To dodge it, simply go to the side or behind whenever he breathes in. Chromanium also has a jump attack. He will either single jump or double jump. Just move out of the way. He lingers up in the air long enough to where you shouldn't have any trouble dodging out. He also has a different stationary jump that will telegraph itself by swirling the air around his front claws. He will then jump in place in a large AoE around him. Now after that initial jump, if he starts to widen his claws, you need to get the heck away from him. The reason being is because he will summon these stone pillars that pelt themselves into the ground and will deal massive damage to anyone inside them. Think of this as a pseudo wipe mechanic. You'll need to be far away or you will die. It's not that it's programmed to die, it's just that it does so much damage that it's basically a wipe. Chromanium also has a bombardment attack where he will shoot an orb up into the air and the ground beneath where the orb will land will pulsate, meaning you have to dodge out of that area. In phase three, this will leave an orb on the ground which will damage nearby players. A variation of this attack will spawn a tracking orb which will be purple in color. It will follow you around for about three seconds and then disappear. If anyone gets hit by this orb, it will explode and stun you though, so be careful. Next we have the Barrage Bombardment. In this, Chromanium will spawn an orb and shoot it into the air, and then a barrage of explosions will rain down. You'll see indicators on the ground that'll last for a while, so just make sure you're mindful and try to dodge as much as possible. And finally, his last mechanic are these Cardinal Orbs. He'll spawn them around him in four cardinal directions. They will slow you no matter where you are on the battlefield. Just make sure you move away from them and save your dodge so that you can get out of the way of Chromanium's follow-up attacks. In phase three, these orbs will attract you to them, so just make sure you dodge out. For some quick tips, Chromanium is a very large and very slow boss, so you shouldn't have any trouble getting around him. He tends to attack from the front, so just make sure you circle around to his back and deal damage from there. Another tip for you is just to not get overzealous. Chromanium's a pretty easy boss to defeat as long as you dodge his main mechanics. So when you go into the fight, just make sure you're focused on defensive maneuvers first and then attack him afterwards. Beyond that, just grab some destruction bombs, some flares, and some weak point moves and you should be good. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Lost Art content. If you'd like to see a video about Virtus, go ahead and check out the card in the top right. But I've been OSK. Y'all have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.